Hello my friends, greetings from Finland, Oscar Terramortis and today let's talk about Garden of the Light or the Garden of the Light well I seen on internet they will play a couple of dates this year I don't know I don't have any clue if they were gonna play more dates this year later but at least they have July on bulk of Castle Party which is my birthday that will that will be really wonderful to see uh, Garden of the Light there but it's impossible for me also they will play in September on the NCN festival in Leipzig Germany and well Big news for Garden of the Light fans, of course. Luna Smog. And you know, I received a few months ago some cool items from Garden of the Light to my collection. And uh, I consider these items some of mo the most most values valuable biggest items on my collection uh, such as the ancient god promo 7 inches released by Big Noise back in 1991 it's really old seven inches considering gothic rock modern gothic rock history also you know it's like I don't know if you can see it yeah like this and then you know it's like this this is in really excellent condition also is brand new that thing we call it in collectors it is never I, I just played once it's really really brand new it's what's mint you know and you know I have a very very good feelings and I love these records this because it's the beginning of the one of the biggest names in gothic rock history it's also you know I got the Necro Necromantea 7 inches release right after the Ancient God promo this was released on back in 1999 too by Big Noise and you can see here 1991 also you can see is wow immaculate condition and you know now you don't see these ones too often right now the new school to making vinyls or seven inches you know and of course this one is also in a really really good immaculate condition and it contains the necromantia song and somnorium interpretatio interpretatio yeah I really like this to get it on my collections wow it's probably you know one of the most wanted seven inches in my wish list also I got this one I think probably one year ago You know, this is the uh, Enki's Temple on vinyl release 
back in two, uh, 1992 by Dion Fortune Records. And you know, there's two different pressings of this one. If you have the black one, you have the first press. If you have the gray marble one, you have the second press. That marble one uh, was released, uh, I think they, they released only 200 copies, and this one was only 250 copies, and all have some kind of a stamp on the back, right, right here, that where you can see the number of your copy, but this is one of those copies that was given to closer people or for promotion for promotional purposes and <clears throat> Art Outset sent me this and believe me I was like almost 10 year 10 years or more digging for this one I will show you this is a really really good item in my collection one of I think it's one of the five top vinyls in my collection because it's really impossible, almost impossible to get a copy. And if you find a copy, you have to pay around 150 euros or more. But not in this condition, of course. Arthur told me this has been on his I don't know where you know, uh, I just play it once, and I will play it tonight once again. You know, and Arto told me that uh, not too many people had this one. You know, and you can see the Dion for two. This is a really great item. Wow. Many, many, many Gothic rock and post punk collectors wish to have one of these copies. The first original press of this classic of occult Gothic rock. Enki's Temple, which I consider it marks, uh, let's say, a new school of occult gothic rock. And yeah, it was uh, recorded on at SMP Studios, engineered in September, October, uh, nineteen ninety one by Philip Arion in Garden of the Light. Wow, my friends, this is, I will show you more closer this, the sleeve, it's a printed sleeve, so you can read. I will left this a few seconds, so you can read there. Also, there. What can I say? Just say Kitos are out for semi discopy. When I met Artaud in Greece, in Athens, in, in Athens back in 2010, he told me, I have a copy there because I told him, you know, I, I, I'm really digging for the Enki's Temple. I saw it on eBay a few times and it's, you know, the marble, gray marble, I really wish one that to have that copy. And, and he, sent, he said to me, you know, I think I have, I think I have a copy, extra copy at home, but it take a few years just to make it happen, you know? 
he sent me this and I was really really grateful because it's one of my favorite records wow it's, it has it, this this record is full of magic believe me this one it's one of my favorite records together with the Necromante on fourth uh, talking about the first seventh albums of Garden of the Light when they were called the Garden of the Light after the seven albums they changed their name to Garden of the Light I don't know if you knew that but that is the story about the, the Garden of the Light and Garden of the Light so I wish to go, I would like to go to see Garden of the Light um, this year, but for me it's really impossible to go out from Finland this year. But uh, my friends, I really recommend this band. If you don't know Garden of the Light, well, they have probably the most extend, extended gothic rock discography that a band never had you know also for me it's as a collector it's like wow together with icon they have a very extensive uh this discography within the official uh, band side projects and bands uh, you know it's in this case merciful nuns you know but i just wanted to share this a small big piece important piece of my gothic rock collection collection and, and you know I'm, I'm still digging for the cassettes but as far as I know our toe told me there the cassettes he made some uh, a few of them and probably right now it will be impossible to to know which is original or if it's someone just faking one and and trying to rip you off because I see, I saw the cassettes like around 100 euros and that's insane. 